Okay, and I will start with a little exercise. So uh, I hope you're not too tired. So I want to ask you to close your eyes for a moment. <laughs> close your eyes. Imagine you in, in a library, probably in your library, and now imagine all the printed material went away. Immediately, from one day to each other. Everything is digital. And now take a look around. What is left? You should see at minimum three things. You sh should see the user who is still there. You should see any device to access the digital material. So it can be a computer, it can be a tablet, it can be a mobile phone, or whatever is coming in the future. And you should see you, the librarian. Okay. Now you can open your eyes again. And okay, we, we are now in this world. And um, what does it mean? Um, for our skills to act now in this world and that's what I want to think a little bit about. First we should now a little bit more about our users because different areas of science are working very differently and as a librarian we should know that from our users especially in the academic environment. So um, you have users like in the humanities who read a lot of stuff, who are working with a computer, who are very text-based. Or you have users <coughs> like the um, physics at CERN, who are very data-based. They are sitting for the computer, look and getting all the data, and later analyze the data, and have, um, the, then the theoretical physics are working with this data. So these things are totally different. Also scientific communication in the different area of science are working very differently. In computer science, everything is about conference proceedings. So it's very important where you went, on which conferences you're renting. In humanities, it's still about, I have to write a book. So then, then, it's, and then I'm important, then I'm a good scientist. With risk publishers, I have to, I've written a book. So that's for us a very important skill also in future to know about these differences and to learn about them so that we can provide the right services for the different type of users. The second important aspect was also stressed in the morning by Claudia. It's communication. So um, we have to talk to our users because there are no words of um, shelves between us now anymore. So um, the direct communication is even more important. If they don't know how to interact with this new type of databases and so on, they have need a point where to go. And we can be this point. But for that, we, it's very important that we are able to communicate very well with our users, that we are there. Um, even online communication, like we see before, to be on Skype. When they have a problem, we must be there. And um, also very strongly connected <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to this point of communication is we must to be able to pass our knowledge. Not only we must uh, get more knowledge about um, uh, information literacy and so on, we must be able to um, go out to, to our users, to give classes, to, um, to teach them and to um, find the best way to, um, yeah, to pass our knowledge to, to, uh, to the younger users, to, to the next generation, but also to um, users of the different areas. Because only if we are able to do that, um, this would be a very important new option, because we are not so much about lending books anymore to them that can they all do themselves. So we got a lot of time and we should use this time um, perfect um, to pass uh, or not. Certainly, um, I don't have to tell you that IT skills uh, would be very important uh, in this type uh, of area so that you must now uh, how to use a computer and not only your cat should know that, uh, also we have to know that. But maybe the most important thing is 
Yeah, now you're today, you're very open to all the new developments. You know that, but um, time will pass and so you will become the older generation and there will be another next generation with some new ideas who are totally different from what your ideas are today. And you must keep this openness that maybe your ideas will be um, yeah, overcome by new ideas and then go to the new generation and listen to them and to what they are thinking and to be, be keep this openness um, because the world will develop, develop so fast and it's not getting slower. Thank you very much. <laughs>